we're going to create some bar charts and pie charts with this uh, data. We have the following gross domestic product data uh, for the top eight countries by economy size. For um, in this case, it's actually just 2000. Let me go ahead and edit that. Um, 2014 to 2015 in billions of dollars. Okay, so it's United States, uh, 17 to 18 trillion dollars uh, GDP. China is the next biggest, and then Japan, Germany, and so on. Okay, so we want to create a bar chart to display the percentage change in economic output for 2015 from the prior year. Okay, so just a percentage change. And so we have here we have the uh, years. Um, I didn't really need this. I have the data. Okay, and then also the countries as well. Uh, if you want to download this IPython notebook, it's here on the course website. Um, go to homework. And then this is going to be under assignment 9, and it'll be these files right there. Okay, so just open it up, unzip it, and you'll have the data. Okay, so coming back here, if I just uh, print the data, for example, this is going to be a, a NumPy array, or it's going to be a matrix, a two-dimensional array, which is a matrix. Okay, and then I have uh, the countries as well. The first thing that we want to do is go ahead and um, display a bar chart. Okay, with this data, I'll go ahead and insert a cell below. Okay, so we want to get a bar chart on the um, change, the percentage change from the prior year. Okay, so, um, you know, let's go ahead and, uh, let's do ahead and do a, uh, a column number. Okay, so we want to do a, um, I want to do, Okay, is equal to NumPy A range. Okay, so I'm going to get a range that's the same length as the list of countries. Or I could have just typed 8 in there. Okay, and so then CNUM um, is going to be 0 uh, through 7. All right, so there I need that just for my x uh, axis for this bar chart. And then let's get the change. This is the amount that's uh, going to be changing from the prior year. So I just want to take the data and this first, um, the uh, very the second column. So this one right here, which the way to grab that is the data and then you have this um, colon right there. That means take all of the rows. So it's rows comma column. Uh, this is the zero uh, column right here. This is the f uh, number one, and there's number two, number three. Uh, so this is, um, let's just go ahead and print this just so we can see it. Okay, print change. This is not the, uh, the change right here. <clears throat> okay. And then I need to put in, when I put in 1, then it's just going to become, take a slice of that. It's just going to take this slice right there. Okay, but what we want to do is we want to subtract the prior year. All right, and then divide by um, the first year, the 2014 data. All right, so there is our percentage change. I multiply by 100 so it would be in percent. And um, okay, so we've computed that. Let me go ahead and insert a cell below. And uh, then let's go ahead and create a new figure. And we'll do a bar chart. Okay, with the change. All right, so there is our bar chart. Um, I might want to label each of these so I can see, you know, better identify which country that was. So I'll say that um, plt.xtix. Okay, so the only way to really find this, you know, syntax is to go online and and uh, 
you know, try to find this from the documentation. All right, and then once you do that, it'll put in like US, China, Japan, Germany, UK, France, India, and Italy. So you can see here that um, it was a, it's kind of a rough year for some of these countries. India, China, and the US all had growth between 2014 and 2015. Okay, um, okay, so that's it on the uh, on the bar chart. I can add I can add some more things in there as well, like an X label. Let's say that's the country, and then I want to do a Y label as well, and maybe that's the GDP uh, change. It's a good idea to put it in units there as well. Okay, so there it is um, with the X and the Y label. You can add also a title. Okay, so this might be 2015 economic change. All right, so there is, uh, there it is. Okay, so this is the, this is the bar chart. Uh, you can also do a horizontal one. There's a lot of different ones that you can do with this. Okay, so let's go ahead and insert a uh, cell below. Now what we want to do is we also want to create a pie chart to display for the 2000, 2014, so this first column of data for the top world eight economies with a gross world product or GWP of about 78 trillion. Okay, display a ninth category that includes the combined GDP for all other countries. Okay, so we want to compare the top eight world economies to the rest of the world and just show that on a bar chart. So, um, where all of the economic output is coming from. So I'm going to create, I need to augment. Um, hmm. Okay, so I, let me just go ahead and create a copy of just the 2014 data. All right, I'll just go ahead and grab just that first column of data, just so I'm dealing with that. I also want nine categories. Okay, I have the $78 trillion, and I'm going to subtract the uh, sum of the 2014 data just for the top eight countries, and that'll give me for that'll give me the uh, the GDP for the remaining countries in the world. Okay, so GDP for those that are not the top eight countries is about 32 trillion dollars. It's hard to even get my mind around how much a trillion dollars would be, but it's a lot of money. Okay, so data 14, I also want to put in that very last um, one, that last entry there, make it, um, instead of 8, I want to have it be 9. Okay, so I'm going to take the 14, I'm going to append to that, I'm going to append this cat 9. And then when I print uh, data 14, Okay, then it has that $32 trillion at the very end. So I've appended to my NumPy array. Okay, and then I also want to append uh, to my countries. Now this is a list in Python. If you go back up, um, this was just declared as a list right here versus this was a NumPy array. So list is just a bunch of strings. And in Python, you can just append to that list. So the syntax is just a little bit different on how to append to that. Um, I'm going to do countries.append. And then I'm just going to, OK, so I'm going to append other to that. Okay, so that's other countries. And then we'll print countries. Okay, when I run that again, you see how it appends to it like that? Okay, not good. I don't want to keep appending other. So what I might need to do is come back into a cell and just restart this, just run all of the cells again. Okay, it's going to go down through my notebook and kind of refresh it. I only have one other there. So now um, if you're appending, if you're appending to it, and you rerun it, you're just going to keep appending 
other to that. Okay. Um, one way to get around this is to just make a copy of it here. So you could say that, um, you know, countries nine, I'll do countries eight equals countries. Okay. And then you could just append to countries eight. All right, so um, this one's gonna give me another other there. Let's see if this works. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna run all. Okay, and then come back down here. Oh, rats, okay. I thought I was being more clever than this, but apparently it, it uh, it passes it by reference, not by value, so didn't work there. Okay, I was trying to get it to not keep appending. I'll just do the run all from here on out. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and create a new figure. All right, and then uh, we can do a pie chart, and this is going to have the data. Okay, and then. Um, we have our labels equals countries. Okay, so these are the strings. This is a list of countries, and that's the data for the countries I appended. Uh, this this ninth category as well. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and just do cell run all. And if I come down here to the very bottom, I can see. Uh, my pie chart, if I don't want to see all of this output right there, I can just say, you know, something like assign it. Okay, so it doesn't print that out. Okay, and you can see if I just run that one, it's going to say, well, you have too many categories. Something like that, just do run all. Okay, and it doesn't print out all that extra stuff. Okay, and then uh, the final thing that I want to do is also save this uh, figure, save this, uh, I'll just call this pi.png. All right, and let's go ahead and just run it again. Okay, produce the same thing. But now on my desktop, I have this pie chart right here. So you can include that like in a PowerPoint or other presentation. Um, so saved as a, a PNG figure file. Okay, so that's it on this uh, tutorial on bar charts and pie charts. You can see there's a couple different ways uh, to configure them, uh, you know, including just making the graphs very readable, uh, making them easy to, easy to follow, convey a lot of information. Um, you know, if, if you had to just look at this data right here versus uh, this plot. You know, from the plot, you can really pick out um, you know how things are changing from year to year. And then you look at, for example, this one. You know, a, a pie chart. You can see that these eight countries right here that are the top economic producers. Um, you can see how that relates to all of the other countries in the world. Um, so over 200 countries. Um, you know, it shows how just how influential these eight economies are. So plots and, and you know pie charts, bar charts, are a very effective way at, at conveying information. You want to think about that carefully as you create these. Is, is what message are you trying to convey? What are you trying to bring out? How are you trying to communicate with the person who's going to be looking at this chart or plot? Okay, so additional course information is here. Um, and uh, we have these four, um, we have these four uh, problems dealing with uh, plots and charts.